really good to go back to work. Ready! And up. So we wrapped up the film in LA end of March. I got directly on a flight the next day. A very warm welcome to Lucas Delay at Michael Fassbender in the 93 Proton Competition Porsche. Right behind Chris in your very first qualifying. I really enjoyed last season because I felt as a team we worked really well. But this year would be different. Box, 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 driver change. Radio check. Late last year we got the information that the FAA is um, reconsidering Felipe's categorization as a silver driver which basically meant that um, we couldn't use him uh, for this team anymore because uh, we need a bronze, silver and a gold or a platinum driver and this, uh, as Richie is our man for the platinum seat uh, and Michael is the bronze driver, uh, we knew that we have to find a new driver. At the beginning of the year, uh, Porsche sent me to Daytona. Uh, apart from you know a very good team and a very good race in Daytona, I also met a, a quite nice guy where I was like, okay, he would be an option for us, you know, a person who fits in the team, a person who I think would love to go to Le Mans. My name is Zach Robichon. Um, this year I'll be driving the 93 Proton competition car. At the end of last season, I didn't even know what I'd be racing or if I'd be racing at all. Um, I had the opportunity to do the four long races in IMSA. Um, and I was lucky enough to be paired with uh, Richard Leeds this year. From there, you know, a small conversation started. Obviously, I had heard of the Road to Le Mans series, and I knew about uh, Felipe kind of getting the bump to gold, but at the same time, you know, I kind of told myself, there's probably a long line of people who, who are looking for this opportunity. He grew up with, with Porsche. He won the Carrera Cup. Uh, he was a supported driver from uh, Porsche America. Uh, then he won also the IMSA in the GDT category. Definitely he proved his speed. Finding a strong replacement for Felipe was the major task over the winter. And looking at the different options that we had, I think we found the perfect solution with Zach, knowing that he has been in a lot of endurance races in the United States. And also the results that he had there, I think he's the perfect teammate for Michael and Richie. I think it was difficult for everyone, for sure. It was quite upsetting because Felipe has been with us right from the beginning, from the Sports Cup days. Obviously he worked very closely with me from, from day one and it helped me progress as a driver, both mentally and physically. It was sad. We, we wanted to complete this journey and, and arrive in Le Mans together. That's what we had set out to do from the beginning. Keep on pushing, Mike. Keep on pushing. Michael Fassbender from pole position in the GTE category for Proton competition. And Lance is on the fight back, but the Porsche has got it. You can give you the last lap. Last lap, just bring the car home to the two. This was a really, really, really bitter pill to swallow. I have to be honest, this was um, something yeah, was really hurting, honestly. I mean, it's not just racing, it's something special. I mean, want to achieve something together, this means, I think, way more to me in general, because it's teamwork and this um, is something really special, I guess. To know, okay, this, I'm not able to achieve this dream together, this was, um, Devastating, honestly. I don't know him personally, we had just small accommodation back and forth, but uh, I think this is, was a crucial point, and uh, pace-wise, actually, there is no question mark. So I think, uh, well, hopefully, at the end, he's, a, he's the right guy. And honestly, I'm happy for him. <laughs> Even it's tough for me and a bit of pill to swallow, but um, it's kind of an honor to work in this kind of project and to drive an hour on the more, for sure. I'm really happy that he's still 
within the sport and managing to compete at a high level because in motorsport if you get promoted to a gold position it's difficult to find a drive. So Michael has been back to business, his normal business. He was working um, over the winter times and was not allowed to to drive any race cars. So on one hand, a nice long break is fantastic because we still have all the feeling from Portimao last year where we finished on the podium. On the other hand, a long break means also you can forget basically a lot of things. So it was kind of not clear how we will feel in the car coming back to the first time driving the RS Le Casalier again. Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to a brand new season of European Le Mans series, Lucas Delay, where so many people are excited to get a new season going after five and a bit months. We're in Circuit Paul Ricard, it's a wonderful place to start here in the south of France. It always has been the track where we thought we were most competitive at and we always came with great expectations. But unfortunately, every single time that we came here, we had incidents. The main goal was to get him back into the racing spirit uh, after this long break. If the strategy works out and uh, Michael is capable of uh, driving at the level he showed us throughout the week, I think we really have a good chance and we all really hope to do a good job here in Le Castellet because we all know that we haven't had the results we wanted here. Yeah. So the cars are about to move off. I'm not even thinking what's possible in the race, but I have an objective, and the objective is to just stay close to Chris, keep the front runners within striking distance, and stay out of trouble. One minute to the start of the formation lap. Please clear the grid immediately. Start, start formation lap, start the formation lap, please follow the leading car. Green lights are now displayed and the formation lap is underway. By T9 we want to see two lines of cars, please. Closing up and behind next to Chris. Cars in the front, side by side, please. Grid position, side by side. Grid position. Engine lap 4, copy, correct, and I'll stand by. So very patiently indeed, the field of LMP2s, LMP3s and GTEs as all part of the European Le Mans series for 2022 funnel their way out of the final corner and a brand new season for 2022 is going. Double yellow at turn 14. Safety car, safety car. Engine map zero, engine map zero. So those early gaps will be negated. I think he had a very good start. He, he stayed clean, which was ultimately what you want to do in a race like this. There's so many ways to kind of shoot yourselves in the foot, but the most important thing is to make sure you keep the car in a position to compete at the end, and that's exactly what he did. From there on, it was about kind of finding a rhythm um, and seeing where, where we stacked up with the other cars and, and then just being smart. We're back to green. We are with nearly 12 minutes of the race already done. Oh dear me. Tried to catch it almost. 
almost did. Another safety car. Whenever I felt like I was finding a rhythm, there was a, an incident. So again, the rhythm was knocked off. So I just felt like it was very much a start-stop rhythm for me. In comes the safety car. We are racing again. Come on! Come on! Push! 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 Here comes Michael Fassbender as well, maybe on both of them. Goes to the, to the outside yes. of the BMW car. I think he's got the position, you know. He got a great run out of turn seven, and he's got the Porsche's nose ahead. Two positions out of turn seven. Great move there from Michael Fassbender. But three cars right behind him, all looking for the inside line at Senior, including the JMW Motorsport car, but he can't get there. So Petrobelli has to just follow Fassbender through that corner, trying to gain a place. Is Tom Cloet. This is all for position as LMP3s trying to untangle themselves from GTs. We've had such a truncated start with two safety cars. Michael Fassbender is up to third position now in GTE, yeah, although it's level there. pegging with Petrobelli. Petrobelli gets that position back. Great run from Fassbender in the middle part of this, this, uh, this lap, but Petrobelli's recovered one of the positions there. He the arrow's on this screen for Fassbender, can't keep up. <laughs> Green arrow, amber arrow, red arrow, they're all over the place. That's trying to tell him where the next threat is going to come from. He needs eyes everywhere. I managed to find a rhythm and I'm feeling pretty confident in the way I was driving the car and finding the balance and then I was uh, hunting down Andrew in the absolute car. I again felt like I had the better pace than him. as third position, dropped back to fifth. Took too, too much curb. Yeah. Michael, just take calm and be careful. I made a mistake going into turn one, turn two. I took too much of the curb in turn two and then caused the rear to uh, step out and I didn't catch it. I have a spin. Shall I box now, do tires and go? Stay out, stay out at the moment. We check, stay out. All okay. The tires don't feel great. I got some vibration. He has vibrations now. You think he wants to go out and back in or what, what is No, no, he wants to stay in. He wants tires and fuel and go again. He can do this. Huh? And then he's doing one hour of steam time. Okay, Michael, box, 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 box. No tires, stay out. No tires, fuel, fuel. Okay, Michael, box, box, box. tires, tires. Next step. 29, 29, we box now, we box now. Kyle, I'm good! He's, he's going to come into the pits, actually. Yes, he is. I wonder if he's got a puncher from that. Or at least flat-spotted flat the, the, the full set of Goodyear Eagles, so he can take a, a new set. Right, we're in the pit lane, we're in the pit lane. You know, unfortunately for him, I think about 45 minutes in, made a small mistake, had a little bit of a spin, and this was close enough to our original pit stop time that we could do what's called kind of an off-sequence short pit stop. So he only lost about 10 seconds on the pit stop. He did it after 17 laps, so it's okay. We just do a full stint now. We change strategy. Now, now we need to be basically 50 minutes in the car, no? 55. Yeah. He's doing just his stint. So what we were able to do was kind of take ourselves a bit ahead, but that also meant that if something were to happen, the gap that we had lost would come back into play. Michael, there's nobody from, nobody behind. So just do your full stint. Rhythm is okay. Perfect. with another car which actually scampered free. Oh, the rear tyres exploded there oh as he's pulled away and taken quite a bit of bodywork with it too. Cause or effect. Ah, shit there. This can kill us. Yeah, because they're all going to pit now. Information to the pit line. The track is very dirty between T8 and T9. We're going to have to send in cleaning equipment. Pit entry is closed. Safety car deployed. Safety car, Michael, engine map zero. Michael, this is very good for us. If we have a pass around. I don't think he will do a pass around. Well, he need to. He doesn't have to. Ah, it's actually so, when it's pass around, we have a mega-crass advantage. When it's no pass around, 
Naja, schon. Die müssten gleich alle in die Box kommen. Ja, der Lust, der, der will 70 Seconds vor. Dadurch, dass hier die Lücke wieder geschlossen ist, haben wir eigentlich 30 Sekunden gespart. Wenn es keinen gibt, ist das Rennen vorbei. Information to the pit lane, information to the pit lane. We are going to work on the pass around. Pass around. Is it? Yep. For the first time since we've been to this track, uh, my mistake actually was quite fortuitous. So we managed to leapfrog the the cars in front. So it ended up being actually very beneficial. You have a big advantage compared to the other cars now because you have to stop. So just find your rhythm. No mistake, and we need to half an hour more. Okay. Green, green. We're racing again. Michael Fassbender, that disadvantage from that tire stop has been rather negated here. Fassbender and Archon in close contention here. Blocking, blocking, blocking. Ah, good man. Michael, there's no traffic in front. Just lean left now, lean left. So, jetzt pass auf, alle in die Box. Meantime, the first regular stop for the GTE cars. Michael, you're going to be P2, P2, so no risk. You're doing very well. Are you ready or not? Yes. Michael, when you're driving by the sun, we box. Copy that. Guys, we're boxing up, we're boxing up, so everybody ready. In comes the M93 car. That is like a fast bender, I think, too. He's done yeah. the entire first half of this race and comes out the car in second place. Looked to me to be, was that Ricard Leitz climbing yeah. aboard the car? <laughs> I think it's good, like we're still in a pretty, we're in a good spot. When Richie jumps in the car, I think everybody's confidence is absolutely 100%. driven with many drivers, but none who have been as calm as him. So when, when we're in a tough situation, in a situation where you just need consistency, you know that's what you're going to get from him. From the get-go, his times were just stellar, and he was Eight seconds behind the car in front. So gold rated Rahel Fry from Switzerland. Yes, to Frey, I can't see it. Four seconds. Four seconds. He's taking it down. Just within the space of, I don't know, five laps, it was down to one second. The emerald green Porsche now in the hands of Richard Leitz heading into the right-hander of Bose. Good drive off the corner though for Austrian driver Richard Leitz who took over from Fassbend. That's a battle for third position and that gap has been coming down to 0.7 of a second. Towards the end of the missile straight, not quite enough room there but close, close, close. Again, Ricard Leeds. Porsche factory driver, three wide there for just a moment, and I think he's going to make it this time. Can he tough it out around the outside? Here comes the Porsche, and yes. does it, does it, makes the move. The 93 car moves up into a podium position. See what everyone does, he's a fucking machine. He's a beast. It's true, and in the practice session, he's not pushing for two laps. It's like, oh no. Richie, one and a half laps, one and a half laps. Fuel time, private change, 
good stint from Ricard Leeds. For Sebastian Alder is going to full course yellow. Oh. Don't take him to full course yellow. Don't take him. Four, three, two, one, zero. I honestly had no idea, and I was maybe hoping that I'd kind of have a few laps to take a deep breath, get into the rhythm, and it was like trial by fire, as we say. Seconds. Here's the countdown out of the full course yellow. Five, four, three, two, one, go, 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 go. It's Proton competition versus Iron Lynx. Zachary Robichon reacts well to it, but Michelle Gatting wanting to stay glued to the rear of the Emerald Green Porsche, and they are neck and neck. This is the battle for third position in GTE class. 46 minutes remaining. Zach was under severe pressure from her for about 10 laps. But I felt like he always seemed to me to be very comfortable and in control of that situation. Bruni's there. This is change. This is, and we're about to see Michelle Gatting passed by Jean Maria Bruni. Jimmy's on the hunt. This is the two proto competition Porsches now. Zach is not going to fight Jimmy. Then we can take both cars out, maybe. And I saw him, you know, pass the Iron Lynx car, and I, I knew I was like, he's going to get here at one point or another. I saw him come, and I'm like, you know what? So I'm going to follow him because I'll probably learn more and ultimately may actually lead to a better position if I follow him. So as soon as he made a move, okay, let's get behind him. Let's follow. Hey, Bruni gains the spot on the sister car at Proton Competition. That's seven, that's the goal, seven. Oh, 60 is in the box. This is the leader in GTE. Very late pit stop for Davide Regon. How much of a buffer zone did they have? There, there goes the, the 32 car goes through to lead the race. Both Proton Porsches go into second and third respectively. So Jean-Maria Bruni, Zach Robichon to second and third in the 77 and the 93. And Michel Gatting into fourth as well. So this will be the last lap. It's confirmed on the top of our timing screen. Under a second in GTE. And here's the GT battle for the final lap, Graham Goodwin. Cracking, cracking stuff in every single class. And here we go to the flag in GTE. They're together. It's not going to be an overlap, it's a room, there's not going to be quite enough, it's going to be Rinaldi racing, take the win, it's 32-77 and Michael Fassbender on the podium in the LMS. What a finish to the first round of the 2022 European Le Mans series, we're going to have to be diving deep for the rest of this week into the stories here. Coming to this weekend, no expectations, it was... Let's see what happens. And P3 after the first race, I think, is something that we can all be proud of because I know every single one of us can be better. I know I can be better. I know Michael can be better. And Richie, well, maybe not be better. We can just be as good as him. At the end of the day, the spin was the best thing that could have happened. Because <laughs> strategy. The problem then was trying to regain a rhythm after that. Farm is tricky with the LMPs. For me, it's kind of mixed emotions. I'm very happy. It couldn't have gone better, I think, for a, a first race for us. Um, I felt like I could have been faster. And I felt like I, I was, I, I got super lucky today. But that's okay. I felt like we've also had a lot of bad luck here. And in third position, it's the 93 Porsche for Michael Fassbender, Zach Robichon and Ricard Leeds Graham. A first in the MS podium for Zach Robichon, but a second consecutive podium for Michael Fassbender. 
I think the scary thing right now for us is that Le Mans is, I don't know, six weeks away before we go there and do the prologue and the sim test there. Still feel severely underprepared for that. It doesn't help that we're gonna go race at Imola, which is a track that I've never raced before. It's an old school track, meaning that it's narrow, not a lot of forgiveness in, if you run wide. It's fast. So we definitely have our work cut out for us in the next two months.